these guys are doing in particular different? Well, the main difference with our technology is that we're able to exert an incredible amount of pressure with these metal metal dies. Another half of the die gets bolted on there. It bolts on there, and we're, we torque down these uh, 3 8 bolts to the limit of, pretty close to the limit of their torque. And we've been calculating the uh, pressure to be close to 400 PSI on the laminate. And that's uh, a whole lot more than anyone else is getting on their, on their joints. So, uh, was there a lot of trial and error involved initially? I mean, to come up there was this? there was a fair amount. We had a couple of problems, but you know the basic technique of, of how to do it was uh, it was pretty straightforward. We made a few minor changes and one particular change in the bottom bracket to make sure that was really going to hold up over a long period of time. We got to the point where a 240 pound guy could ride the bike off the road and not be able to break it. So that was kind of a, a point where we said, okay, this bike's strong enough. At what point did you know that you had something special in terms of how good the frame was? Well, I, I knew personally, long t you know, when I built the first prototype, which I can actually show you, it's still here. It's just hanging up here. It's nothing wrong with this frame. It still works. It's rather, you know, it's rather crude looking, but this frame has already withstood a lot of uh, abuse. And uh, it's, it didn't break when I tried to break it. And uh, I figured it was a, a good idea from the very beginning. It was just a matter of developing it so the market could accept it. And someone like Greg LeMond could race on it. You know, that's kind of the, the hard part is doing that. This is our jig table where we lay up all the frames, and it shows one of the unique features. And it's very easy for us to move around the mold sections to vary the angle. It's very easy to change the length of the tubes. So we can do customized geometry. We built the 18 frames for Greg's racing team. Every one of the 18 was customized for the individual rider. Every one of the 18 had different geometry. Depending upon the particular guy's uh, weights or requirements, we were actually given a list from the team of that rider's, basically the geometry he requested. Is this going to mess you up? No, I'm going to no, it low. no he, he has to edit it. Okay. <laughs> it's rolling anyway. That's fine. Okay, that's, that's much better for me. Okay. Is that okay for that's you? It's fine. Like it's fine. inside and drink beer outside so it's kind of fun. This is a little worth yeah, it's one of the few good. places you can you can bring your bike in. Yeah. And Luna. And Luna. And they of course love you guys. Yeah, sometimes you get three beers.